how are you fifth year i hope you are okay i hope you are fine well today is thursday the 21st of may we are, uh, it's a sunny and hot day we are going to check uh, the mistakes from the essay number one from page 56 from the class book bye bye unit five hello unit six okay Phrase verse from the unit. This would be the photo pizarra. Yes, we are going to do pages 58, 59, 60 and 61 from the class book. Uh, you have, as a homework, you have from the exam maximizer, pages 36, 37 and 38. And you have essay number two, exercise four from page 35. Okay, from page 35 from the exam mice in Mainza. yes ok fecha de, de salida y fecha de entrega pdf por favor si sí, tengo coma no enviaste la clase pasada ojo hay ya un s que no lo estás haciendo eh. ojo que son los s y son diferentes eh. Eh, tengo a Iván Paula que me entregaron en un formato que no es pdf chicos por favor te corrijo con las herramientas uh, necesarias y si me mandan en otro no puedo corregir porque yo uso el doc el doc para corregir y tengo que tener las herramientas de doble clic círculo y eso para marcar las correcciones porque no es que yo mando una corrección abstracta si ¿sí? te equivocaste en el punto 5 de está así que por favor estamos ya llegando a junio y todavía hay gente que me sigue mandando algo que no es pdf y tengo que devolver el trabajo y perdemos tiempo Igual chequeé, ni Paula ni Iván me mandaron de nuevo. Lo que sí, Iván, me volviste a mandar el S, que es para esta tarde. Yo estoy grabando esta clase que te va a salir a vos ahora a la tarde, hoy a la tarde, jueves a la tarde, y lo grabó la mañana. Estuve chequeando y está, ya me entregaste el trabajo de hoy, pero te lo tuve que devolver porque no me entregaste el PDF, por favor. El que no sabe mandar el PDF se tiene que ver los tutoriales que estuvimos mandando nosotros desde que comenzamos a... Um, a trabajar en el Google Classroom, David mandó todo, cómo hacer un PDF, cómo convertir, cómo hacer todo, ¿está? Así que es cuestión de atención, sí, pienso que en el colegio le estarán pidiendo PDF también, ¿no? Bueno, ok, bueno, well, uh, mistakes, uh, Ramat, amazing. Había una frase nomás que yo te puse ahí abajo, all they want to do is to fabricate, ¿sí? Yeah? That is amazing, yes, okay, very good ideas, uh, the format, uh, the mass words, the, um, the vocabulary, the specific vocabulary is um, okay. well done, well done, yes, okay, um, perfect, yes, okay, congratulations, Martín, ojo, las mayúsculas, ¿Sí? Ok, está un poco pobre, es a, a bit poor, in content, in grammar, eh, in vocabulary, connectors, yes, so make it more a fifth year uh, essay, yes, ok, check Martin, check, yes, spelling mistakes, hay muchos otra vez, eh, ok, um, no va la S en things, porque te marqué things ahí, no iba la S, eh, Ok, so pay attention, Martin. La sangría, por favor. Sí. Uh, devolví uno, que es el de milagros, que no me volviste a enviar. Por favor, milagros. Te devolví porque no tenía sangría. Estaba todo con reglones saltados. Si no les devuelvo, no van a aprender. Van a seguir cometiendo el mismo error, el mismo mistake. And then it will become an error. Entonces, Mili, pasame ese texto, pero dejamos sangría. Ya sabemos que ya explico siempre, por eso me da la pauta que a veces no están viendo las clases o hacen lo que quieren, ¿sí? Así que atención, ya dije que la sangría es lo que me va a separar los párrafos. Entonces, ¿cómo se deja sangría? Desde el margen de la hoja, dejas un espacio y empezás a escribir. Escribís, 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 you write your paragraph. Second paragraph, dejas otra vez un margen y escribí todo, 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 todo. Y todas las otras palabras, eh, las que siguen las frases, siguen en el... Yo expliqué varias veces esto, vuelvo a explicar, a lo mejor no se entendió, pero lo venimos haciendo esto el quinto año. Lo vienen haciendo desde tercer grado el tema de la sangría. Third grade, second year, third year, fourth year, four years haciendo esto, ok. Entonces, the year, um, 
let's say, comenzás acá, este es tu margen de la hoja, dejás esa sangría, but, y escribís, y escribís, y va. Segundo párrafo, secondly, secondly, y a la par de este, acá comenzábamos con let, suponete, a la par, uh, in that condition, ta, 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 ta. Finally, y vas a poner todos, o sea, así se dice, finally, ta, 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 and, ta, ta, ta. Yes, ok? Párrafo 1, párrafo 2, parágrafo 3, ok? And this is the sangría, este espacio es la sangría, este espacio es la sangría, este espacio es la sangría, la sangría me separa en párrafos. Eso es lengua puro, eh? Ok? Good. Literature. Ok, bueno, well, so let's go a, uh, bueno, Martín entonces, eh, ojo con la conclusión, Martín está incompleta, organize your ideas, uh, brainstorm the ideas, a for four, yes, ok, Nazarena, uh, cosas banales te escribí yo ahí, eh, ok, que me parece la palabra que necesitabas, yes, ok, muy bien Nasa, eh, well done. También está muy bien, well organized, uh, very good use of vocabulary, no te enredas tanto con tus ideas como años anteriores. Tere, articles, Tere. Pay attention in the articles. Eh, y faltó una idea que faltaba cerrar. Te puse como un bosquejito de lo que, pas de lo que faltaba cerrar, porque quedó uh, not concluded idea. Yes, milagros, eh, me mandás otra vez, ¿sí? Pero el tema es, chicos, que cuando hacen esto de mandar en un formato donde no es, me vuelven a enviar y me, se me junta con el trabajo, hoy tengo ese que me van a mandar, se me van a juntar tres ese más de personas que no respetaron el, el, el formato, ¿está? Así que pay attention, please, ¿yes? Y encima no leen las correcciones, porque si vos ya te llegó la corrección, tenés que leer y volver a enviármelo en el formato que te pido, por favor, ¿sí? Mili, me vuelves a enviar también, ¿yes? Ok, so pay attention, this is a matter of attention. Let's go to unit six, um, working lives. Yes, working lives. Um, so we're going to uh, watch some, see some pictures. Yes, a projected picture, the pictures there. And this is the time uh, where you have to talk. Yes, and use this time for talking, for thinking about your ideas. Yes, okay. And we are going to talk about this topic on the next video. Yes. So pay attention. Pay, pay attention. Yes. Okay. First of all, I want you to put the date. First of all, while it is uh, being prepared, I want you to put the, uh, the date of pages 58, 59, 60, 61. Yes. Put the dates. Yes. Okay. Are you there? And I want you to tell me what do you think is the most important job? Yes, you have there, yes, page on page 58, with the date of page 58, 59, 60 and 61. Yes, I want you to tell me what do you think is the most important job? Yes, okay, so you have to put the items from A to H in order of importance, yes? One most important, eight less important. Yes, um, I want a job that is well paid, well paid, and I want you to highlight the words well paid, B, is secure, highlight the word secure, yes, okay, uh, a word that is secure and you don't have to take risks, well, okay, C, will be challenging, yes, okay, uh, dealing with, it means that uh, you want to deal with different situations, new situations, difficult situations, interesting situations, yes, something that is challenged, uh, you, it's challenging for you, yes, you need a challenge in your life, yes, okay. Uh, D uh, has a good, pros has good prospect, yeah, because you want to uh, have a chance of getting a better position, maybe. Uh, e, a worthwhile job, yes, uh, I feel, I feel is worthwhile and helps other people, yes, okay, I feel, uh, well, uh, a job, I want a job that has status, yes, okay, so other people know, yes, who am I, yes, who I am, yes, okay, it's rewarding and gives me a sense of achievement, yes, 
when I do something well, for example. And H gives me a good work life, yes? Work life balance. I'm not going to talk about many things uh, about job, yes? And isn't too stressful. Hmm. It's a dream. Okay, good. Well, so this is your idea, yes? You must organize your idea. And then in exercise three, we are going to organize the vocabulary first and then we are going to go to the description of pictures. So you can use this vocabulary to talk. Yes, to describe the pictures, okay? So we have, uh, I want you to highlight the words, yes, highlight the words here, yes, and here too. Yes, salary, temporary, application for, interview, candidate, part-time, salary, part-time, salary, full-time, CV, permanent, wage, letter of application. So you have to divide the words, put in the, in the correct order, type of job, money, and applying for jobs, okay? Are you there? Good. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Don't cheat, okay? Good. I will go to the answers. Okay, types of job. Temporary, full-time job, part-time job, okay, permanent, yes? Money, salary, and wage, yes? Okay, remember the difference between salary and wage. Salary is a fixed, regular uh, payment, typically uh, paid monthly, yes, and often uh, expressed as an annual uh, amount of money, yes, and then you have a wage that is a fixed regular uh, payment, yes, earned for work services, yes, uh, paid on um, weekly, paid weekly or um, daily, yes, okay, for the, hour, the hours you work, yes, okay. Um, Yes, okay. Well, so we have, ¿qué más te quería explicar? Okay, um, applying for jobs, application form, interview, candidate, CV, letter of application, okay? Now the words are underlined, highlighted, and uh, are uh, in the correct uh, chart position. So we are going to, uh, now I want you to, have, do you, have you got a piece of paper there? So I want you to uh, write down as many words as you can from the word employ. Yes, I want you to write this word like this. Employ. Yes. And write as many words as you can. Yes, as many words as you can. Yes, okay. Do it. Yes, okay. So, um... Are you there? Yes, okay? Because then we're going to uh, employ, yes? Empleo, yes? Okay, what words can you put from there? What words? Invent something, yes? Okay? Can be adjectives, can be noun, yes? Okay? So do it at home, yes? Okay? Good. Well, um, so pay attention now. Yes, pay attention now. Uh, I want you to go to exercise, um, ma highlight, marcar todo lo que vamos a hacer. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, okay. Acá puedes poner well pay. Uh, monthly. Yes, okay. Uh, employers. Um, employees. Oops. Employees. Uh, hours you have to work. Yes, okay. Me falta una con L. One missing. Um, I have one. Lab. Okay. Employ. Yes. Well, pay monthly. Yes. Okay. Do you want to uh, work? At, yes. Uh, employ. Yes. I want to be well paid. Uh, I want to work. Do you want to work monthly? Yes. For hours. Yes. Okay. How many hours do you want to work? Yes, okay. 
You must love the job you do. Yes, employees, employers, okay? Well, you can do it uh, better, yes, with different words. Interview, I got to put it, interview, I don't know. Uh, 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 candidate, no, no, not candidate, but many words, yes, okay? Temporary, yes, temporary, uh, part-time, part-time, yes, full-time, yes, okay? Um, salary, tata? Salary, you can put it there. Yes, okay. Mm, letter of application. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Stress. No, 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 no. Yes, okay. That's many words. Yes, okay. Good. Yes, okay. Good. I was thinking about other ones. Yes, okay. Well, so let's go to the pictures. Let's go to the pictures and then we are going to go to the book. Yes, okay. Um, I will look for another one. Yes, okay. Uh, 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 uh. No. Well, but I, uh, because in fourth year, I was explaining the same. Do you think there must be a balance? Yes, there must be a balance between uh, your work and your uh, personal life. Do you think uh, there must be a balance? Yes, a balance between uh, balance. Yes, between your job and your personal life. Yes, okay, no, wait. Okay. Does me uh, there must be a balance? Yes, okay. Between your job, yes, and your personal life, yes, personal life. Uh, do you think we can do it? Do you think we do? Do you think it is difficult to uh, have a balance between job, yes, the hours you work, yes, and the time you must spend with your family, you must spend with your family, with your children. Do you think it's difficult? Do you think it's easy? Yes, so I want you to think about the balance that we must job, we must have between our personal life, yes, and between the job, yes, okay? Well, um, there we have, uh, so what kind of job could you like to have? A full-time job? or a permanent job, yes? Which are the advantages of having a full-time job, yes? What about that? Yeah, think about it. A salary, yes, okay, the wages, yes, okay. Um, everything you must have into account when choosing. Which one would you like to have? Permanent job, yes, okay. I would be more secure in a, per a permanent job, yes, okay, yes, full-time job. Would you like to have a, a part-time job, part-time job? Yes, I think it's better for students to have a part-time job because it, it's give, it gives you the opportunity to what? To work, for example, if you work in the morning, you can start in the afternoon, yes? So maybe uh, for people who are at university, yes, um, a part-time job, could be better, yes, okay, full-time job, person, uh, permanent job, and apart from that, this is our problem, because we are uh, a 24-hour society, it means that we are all the time working and working, yes, we don't sleep, yes, we don't sleep very well, because we have to work a lot for long hours, yes, so the next day, the next day we are stressed, yes, so, Choose, yes, think about job, yeah, job, yes, which one would be the dream, your dream job, yes, okay, good, um, think about the salary, yes, if you want to be well paid, if you want to be secure, what challenges, yes, would you like to have, yes, or you prefer not to have any uh, challenge, yes, because you want to be I want to be okay, I want to, I don't want to, yes, um, 
be in danger. Yes, I don't want to be stressed. Yes, okay. I don't want to take any risk. Yes, okay. Ah, this. Yes, okay. Then you will listen because I have prepared a, um, a video. Yes, uh, because in fourth year we were talking about jobs too. And uh, there is a student, you will listen to Paula talking about her dream job. Yes, okay. So this, this is one of the things the things that you have to think about. If you are a woman, yes, if you are a woman, you have to think about the payment, yes, okay, because it is not fair. You know that women, um, women's salaries are not the same as men's salaries, yes, did you know that? So, uh, a fair pay, yes, a payment, yes, so we have to, uh, have equal job, equal uh, rights, yes? If I have to choose a job, yes, a job, yes, that is, that has the same payment as a man, yes, okay? Because nowadays we are, um, we are living in a society where women is still, yes, uh, having um, a discrimination, yes, about, um, in their salaries okay good well um there we go qualities of the perfect job so what would what would be the perfect job what you are uh, an, a job uh that you love yes uh, ideal one yes okay uh your dream the the job you have dream about it yes a job uh, where you have um, good skills yes and you can use your good skills the things you are good at in this job yes a job that can be a kind of hobby yes because for example for me yes for me i couldn't live without teaching yes for me teaching is as a hobby it is stressing because i have to prepare everything I have um, to correct many things, yes, but it is like a hobby, yes, okay, it's a thing that, it, it's a thing that I love doing, yes, it's a thing that I have dream about, yes, and people pay me for that, so, okay, so I have the dream, uh, the ideal job, yes, so I'm very, very lucky, yes, and I think I'm good at teaching, yes, okay, well, so you have employer, ambition, skills, family time, career goals, okay? So these are the things we have to think about when the, the word job comes into your mind, yes, okay? Ambition, what I want, challenges, yes, okay? Something that is challenge, challenging, Yes, uh, a job that I have to take risks because if you don't take risks, it could be boring maybe. Okay, the skills you have, yes, all the things you are good at, yes, okay. Uh, do you want to be an employee or do you want to be the employer? Which are the advantages of being an employee and the employer? Oh my God, I, I was in, the, in both uh, situations yes but being the boss being the the boss is very difficult because you have to take into account many things yes and more if the business is yours yes okay good well the family time the career goals yes okay um the family time yes the first thing i said before yes the balance between the moment you share with your family and the moment, the hours you spend in your job. Yes, okay. Well, it's difficult, but, yes, okay. Well, uh, the perfect job, a good salary, benefits, uh-huh, yes, insurance, yes. Do you, have you thought about that? Job security, close to home, Yes, type of jobs and you have. We have already talked about that. A full-time job, a 
important job flexi time yes okay flexi time job yes this is good for students yes if you are studying at university a permanent job yes a temporary job what I always say is that you will have to um, the job you choose yes and the career you choose it's very important to choose the right one because you will get up every day of your life to do that and if you get up and if you don't like it oh my god you're going to quit yes so it's something that you have to choose something that you love doing yes okay in this way you are going to be successful yes if not oh my god yes who are you okay well and then I have prepared um, an example of a covering, uh, a covering letter for job application because you will have to write one. Yes, okay, dear sir or madam, the date, dear sir or madam, the date. Remember when you start with the answer of madam, when you don't know the name of the person you are, who you are writing to, you must finish your letter with your face, really. Yes, okay, and when well, it says regards here and your name, looking forward to hearing from you. Yes, you're faithfully, remember you're faithfully, you're sincerely, yes, okay, good. And divide the letters, the letter in paragraphs, Yes, okay. You will have to do this, uh, not now, but then. Yes, okay, not now. Yes, but in the units, yes, you will have to, you, I will ask you to write a covering letter then. Yes, but you have an example. Yes, okay. It's, it is the letter that goes, you close your CV with this letter, okay. Uh, then you have an application form. This is a, an international student card application where you know how to fill in application. Yes, okay. Uh, the name, the mobile, the email address, the date of birth. Yes, okay. And that's all. Yes, okay. I'm going to continue with this for then. Yes, okay. Just some examples where... Okay, so, uh, so far you have ideas now. Yes, okay. What do you think is, uh, ah, yes, I'm, I'm going to show you. Yes, okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute. Yes, okay. Uh, I want you to pay attention because the things she says are very interesting. Yes, okay. This is a student, you know, you already know her from last year. She's from fourth year, and uh, it's very, uh, the things she say, she says, are very interesting, yes, okay? I decided to uh, share it with you, for you to have ideas when talking about jobs, yes? Hello. So, my dream job would be... She's talking about dream jobs and... Uh, all the units about jobs. You know, her name is Paula. Here we are. Come on, come on. Listen and pay attention. Yes. Hello. So my dream job would be fully paid and would have an equal regimen of salaries. Hello. So my dream job would be fairly paid and it would have an equal regimen of salaries in terms of gender. 
because now okay where okay so she wants to be well paid paid and you would have an equal regimen of salaries equal rights she's asking for equal rights yes okay we have already talked about that that's very interesting in terms of gender because nowadays it's still an unacceptable injustice that so many women around the world are being less paid than men for doing the exact same job so i think that's one of the primary speeches it would have um also if i feel and think that i am proficient in the position i was given and i feel good doing the job and the salary is enough to cover my basic needs and maybe a little more just so an advancement of my lifestyle can be produced i think i wouldn't have the urge to ask for pay raises or a promotion i think I'll she wouldn't ask for a promotion if she uh, she wouldn't ask for she wouldn't ask for a promotion if she felt okay in the job so that could be if the employee is happy the boss is happy too yes okay um, i like that as soon as i can survive uh well i think this is kind of obvious but it's also really important to highlight that the job policies should well must comprise the basic workers needs such as paid holidays a pension scheme according to the USA UK. holidays yes okay good I've worked an eight hour long working day not more than that and health insurance and uh, she would work for eight hours like everybody yes a uh, fair salary um, well moving on and talking about the tasks my dream job should be about I think they would be methodical but at the same time creative okay a job that is methodical but creative yes i agree with this yes because if you are methodical uh, it helps you to have a routine in your own tasks yes okay but methodical doesn't mean that you are bored yes you can be creative too yes for example in architecture you begin with already settled up methods and skills uh, mainly mathematical but then as you move forward and you start designing you can put all your creativity and your imagination in the designs of the things that you are creating and improving so i think that's amazing that's uh, an incredible way to do work uh, combining both aspects um well then i think i would rather a flexi time work just so i can arrange a flexi time work yeah so she will be able to work the hours she wants yes not many hours okay yes you can organize your schedule and create a um, specific and personalized schedule that i can follow therefore i find a good balance between leisure and compulsory tasks and work. okay so a flexi time work would allow her to have a balance between leisure time and compulsory time compulsory tasks yes because you know in a work you have things that you have to do compulsory yes okay so but uh, she uh, chooses this flex this kind of work flexi time work because she thinks that it's the best way to organize organize your time find the balance to organize your leisure time leisure time with what with the time you have for doing compulsory things, tasks for your job, okay? Is it clear? Good. Okay. And well, finally, the, the job in general should be developed in, an, in a clean, healthy and comprehensive environment. Okay, so the environment for her is very important, yes? Whenever you go to work, Yes, it's better 
to work in a nice environment because if the environment is not nice believe me yes you will hate your job yes okay right where you have your rights and your obligations good that is a good topic rights rights and obligations yes because whenever we talk about these two words yes i have a daughter i have two daughters but yes one of one of her yes one of them yes says okay i have the, i have the right to do this and to do that and to do this you have rights but don't forget about your obligations yes so that is very important yes so i think that's it <laughs> well uh i decided to share it yes because uh it's full of vocabulary it's full of words it's full of mass words uh the opinion is uh very uh interesting yes the rights of women is yes, because we are not uh, it is incredible but we are in 2020 and women still uh, don't have yes the same salary as men so they continue fighting yes okay well okay a dream job a job that uh, you could love yes a job that you could you can have the balance between family life and between the compulsory things you have to do leisure time yes time for studying time for reading yes well-paid job yes okay uh, a job where you are happy when you do the things when you share when you can do the things you love and of course somebody pays for that so it would be amazing yes a job where you can combine a job where you can combine yes um different things yes okay uh a job um where you can um put your creativity yes okay so think about that yes that was very interesting yes i think you uh will agree with me all right well so let's go very quickly to seven eight and nine yes and um, let's go let's go let's go what do you think uh, is the right age for people to start thinking about a future career? Well, uh, I think that many students don't know, yes, don't know what career they must follow and they need to go to a special person who guides them. Yes, okay, because um, they are lost. Yes, okay, and sometimes I have many uh, students that have started a career but they didn't like it and they realize after uh, having done this career for two years they realize that this wasn't the career they want uh, that makes them uh, that makes them happy so then they change the career and they finish the career and now they are happy it has a, they have a happy ending they are doing what they want they are well paid but sometimes uh, it is difficult, yes, but I think um, education must uh, guide students from uh, during all the secondary school, yes, because must guide you in the way that you do different activities, different tasks, so you can realize what is the career you want, yes, okay, because sometimes you don't know, and um, apart from that, maybe at home you are under pressure because your parents are lawyer they want you to be lawyer they want you to be doctors as they are yes so, so and sometimes it is the it is in the career that makes you happy that is going to make you happy so it is very 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 this period in which you have to choose the career you must follow is very very frustrating yes okay uh do you think it's a good idea to have one job for a long time or several jobs hmm. i think i have worked for 10 years in the same place and it was good for me because i learned many things and i did what the boss said 
yes, okay. Uh, I was very open-minded to learn all the things uh, the person, the boss teaches me. Yes, I, then I worked in different other places and I think from every work I had, uh, I learned something. Yes, okay. Yes, um, you have to see always the, the positive, you, have to, you always have to see the positive things. Uh, yes, okay, um, but I think, um, well, you can do the same job for many years and you can't uh, do it differently, yes, for example, I have done the same job since I was 18 years old and uh, each year I change things, yes, so this is the thing that makes my job uh, be the the most interesting job in the world, at least for me, yes, okay, um, well, so, uh, let's go to exercise nine, here are some part-time jobs, eight, forgot, eight, 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 yes, here are some part-time jobs, I want you to talk at home, because I have given you many ideas, talk uh, to each other, I want you to talk about the jobs you have there, being a waiter, being a gardener, you will do it at home. Being a babysitter, being an activity organizer and being a fruit picker. Yes, and I want you to tell, um, describe the jobs, yes, and say the advantages and disadvantages of being a waiter, of being a gardener, a babysitter, and decide which of these job, jobs shown there in those pictures could you like to do and why. All right, is it clear? Well, um, a job you must uh, have in the future must make you forget about everything, yes? For example, sometimes I am very tired, sometimes I feel that I, I want to rest a bit more, but then when I come, yes, to the classes, oh my God, I completely forget about everything. I forget about everything, complete about everything. Yes, I forget about my tiredness, I forget about, um, yes, everything, yes, and I try to make my job the, the best I can, yes, so maybe in the future you can do that, yes, do and enjoy what you do, okay, well, describe the pictures and then uh, read, uh, would you like to do any of this job, okay, so I have already said that, um, uh, do you think teenagers should be paid for doing jobs around the house? That is a good question. Yes? Um, you know, uh, do you think we as parents should pay you for the things you do in the house? Of course I don't pay. Yes, of course. Because, okay, we give you presents. Uh, uh, we make you, uh, we pay uh, for your studies, so I don't think I should pay um, uh, for you to help me in my house, okay? Well, so I completely disagree with this idea. I'm not saying that I, it's not, uh, I, can, I can give you money, yes, because you, you can uh, earn your own money, but not for doing the things, for helping, yes, because I think uh, in my family, for example, I say, this is, um, uh, it is a big community. Everybody can do something for helping the other. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's difficult. Yes, okay? Good. Well, I want you to complete, let's check 11. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Number, um, mm, 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 mm. yes, okay, you have 11 there. Okay, which one to do that? Um, We are going to listen, yes, and you have to complete, yes, okay, because I was going to go uh, to the other page, but let's finish, uh, do the listening, Unit six. and complete the sentences in exercise 11, all right? Unit 6, vocabulary and speaking focus, activity 10. That's an interesting question. To be honest, I never thought about it before. In my house, everyone does a few jobs, but we don't get pocket money for doing them. 
It's a part of living with other people. Every Look, what I was saying. In my house, we live in a community. It's a part of, it's a part of living with other people. Yes, okay? You help each other. The one helps out. What do you think, Eduardo? It all depends. If you're helping out in a big way, like spending a lot of time helping your dad build an extension to the house, then I suppose you should get paid for it. But in general, I agree with Roberta. It's part of being a family, isn't it? Have you ever been paid for doing any jobs, Roberta? Come to think of it, yes, once. I had mum clear the garden and dig up a vegetable patch. I got some money for that. But in my country, young people get weekly pocket money or an allowance from their parents and nothing extra for chores around the house. Okay. Do you get pocket money? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Well, number uh, 11. Interesting, honest, thought, for, depends, general and count. Yes, okay? Good, so let's go to page 60. Yes, 60, 60, you have, uh, I love my job on page 61 and I want to underline, highlight, because it is already uh, underlined, get in, stay ahead, try out, starting up, think up, I went into, uh, I went into, starting out, sort out. Yes, all the phrase adverbs you have in the unit, okay? So let's go to, um, well it says, what was your uh, dream job when you were a child? That is a good question. You will talk about this in the, um, in the three minutes talking from this unit then, okay? And um, what is, have you changed? Yes, for example, I wanted to be a teacher when I was a child and I am a teacher, so I haven't changed yet, but in your case, uh, for example, uh, did you used to think that uh, your dream job would be uh, to be a firefighter, but then you realized that it was very dangerous and then you changed, you know, I will be a psychologist or any other, any other you know, job, so I want you to uh, think about that at home and say why you changed, yes, I haven't. Yes, because I have um, always liked to be a teacher, to teach in general. Yes, I can teach different things, in, in fact. Yes, thanks God. Yes, okay. Well, um, so I want you to go to exercise two. Yes, exercise two, three, four, five and six. Okay, so let's do exercise two there. Remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay. Yes? Right. So exercise 2, B. Exercise 3, 2, B. 3, 1, B. 2, A. Enjoy the text because it's very entertaining. 2, A. 3, C. Three, 4, B. 5, C. 6a and 7c okay is it clear yes all right so um which job which of the jobs do you think is the most interesting this is this we are going to talk about this in the three minute video too marcalo go forward which jobs uh which of the jobs you do you think is the most interesting worthwhile yes difficult or stressful Yes, I could be nowadays, or, uh, being a nurse, a doctor, must be very dangerous and stressful. Yes, interesting. I'm an, an archaeologist. I think it could be very interesting to, to, to know um, many things about uh, history, about the people who used to live in our world before, by, by investigating all the things they do, yes, okay, well, and worthwhile, yes, you know, que vale la pena, uh, well, being a teacher too, yes, I think, 
um, because you teach uh, students, yes, from very little, yes, and you see how they grow up, yes, they are like um, your own uh, family, they are like your own children, yes, okay, your own daughter or son, yes, because you, uh, I have seen many, many, many students from very, very little, yes, until they, all the stages, yes, when they are little, when they are adolescent, when they are adult, yes, that they see you in the street and they also have their own child, their own children, yes, and they have their own profession, yes, and they always remember, okay, teacher, do you remember the song that, yes, okay, thank you, because I can, I could go, I could travel, and well, that is, um, it's worthwhile, at least for me. Yes, okay, so let's go to uh, exercise um, six. I will correct six first and then I will go to five because I want to explain some phrase of verbs and I want you to. What will you do? Yes, you will remember, I will introduce the, the phrase of verbs from this, this unit and you will have to make right sentences in your pattern of compositions on sentences with the phrase of it. so you try okay um well exercise six of there okay one e two f three g four d five a six h seven c and eight b okay well so, um, I want you to uh, pay attention because you will have this in the photo pizarra. Get in, enter, get in, yeah? So, what time do you get in your job? What time do you get in? I get in at about seven, for example. Enter, yes? Remember, you have, you want to, you have to write own examples, okay? Stay ahead not lose one's position in front of other. Do you think uh, if you have a company, you have to stay ahead? Yes, I think yes. Try out, yes, to taste, yes, handle to see if it works, yes. I will take this keyboard and I will try out. Try it out, try it out. Okay, start up, yes. Uh, next year I will start up a new academy in another part of the city. I'm lying, yes, okay. One is enough, yes, okay. Because you have a lot of responsibilities, okay. Uh, think up, invent a new, uh, invent new ideas. I uh, want you to think about, think up a new story for next class, okay. A very interesting one, okay. Go into, insert, yes, enter, yes, be admitted. Did you go into that job you want it yes okay okay uh, start out well in the text you have the examples yes I went into magic was one reason I went into magic yes was because when I was growing up I used to get bored with things very quickly yes okay start out begin yes okay to start uh, when will you start out the gym Yes, okay. Uh, starting out, yes, for example, starting out your, you mate, you might earn, blah, 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 comenzando, yes, start out, yes, begin to, sort out, yes, there are many things I have to sort out this weekend and I will be very busy, yes, okay, to deal with, uh, organize, resolve situations, okay, good, well, so now you can do exercise five with the phrasal verbs. Remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Are you there? Good, five, go into. Two, sort out. Three, think up. Four, start out, yes? When you start out a new job, the few weeks are dif difficult. Get in, number five, Try out, start up, and stay ahead. Well, I hope uh, you have enjoyed the class. Yes, okay, happy 25th of May. Yes, um, well, see you next class, okay? Remember to send 
the homework in PDF, okay? Bye-bye, happy weekend!